Hello viewers, today I have the Norco RL26 rail kit for the Norco rack mount chassis. I'm going to be showing you how to install this in the rack, or at least how I install it in the rack, and how to attach it to your case. It looks like there's some confusion on the internet how these rail kits are mounted, so I thought I'd just show an installation video and take it from there. Alright, I thought we'd start with orientation. This is the right side rail kit. Uh, you can tell because, uh, and this is also the front of the rail kit, and you can tell that because this bracket here is fixed where it's mounted to the uh, uprights. Um, this is fitted for square holes in the rack, which mine has. And you can tell that this is the front because this bracket is fixed. And this one slides. This is an adjustable rail kit, so I can actually pull this out. And the whole thing will extend. I don't remember what the maximum uh, width is, but it's as long as I need it to be. Uh, coming around to the front of the rail kit, or rather the inside, this particular slide is the one the chassis itself attaches to. There's a notch cut in here for a tab that's on the case itself. Um, it fits right in there and kind of secures the front of this. And in my application, there's going to be a screw about here and here. There's only two that hold it in in my case, but I have a short one. You can also see the ball bearings in this rail kit. I believe it's rated for 125 pounds or 150 pounds. Moving to the back of the rail kit, you can see a rubber stop that keeps the entire rail system from bottoming out. Now headed to the outside of the rail kit. This is where it's going to be mounted, and along here you'll see a clip that's going to allow us to push down on it. I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to push down on this and slide the entire rail mechanism out. Uh, I can't do it with one hand while holding the camera, but this is how you release this inner rail that mounts to the case. So if the case is mounted here, you slide the case out, push this down, the whole rail comes out of the uh, rail kit itself while this stays mounted to the server rack. Same as any other application really. Okay, now we're going to get ready to mount the rail kit. And the easiest way that I found to mount this system is since this front part is attached and the adjustable part is the entire back that mounts to the uprights, you can slide this entire piece out and mount this first and then slide the rest of the rail kit onto it. In order to mount this system, we're going to be taking these two screws out as soon as I can focus on it. I'm going to be taking these two screws out. This plate has a stamped shape in it with square holes, which I'll be showing you, that fit right into the uprights. And we'll secure this through the upright that goes in the middle here. All right, what I was attempting to explain in the last shot was that this bracket here, which is secured with these screws, has stamped squares in it, reminding to square holes in a rack. So we take this piece, down here we can see that it fits and it kind of locks into place, it doesn't move. And then the screws go through and into the mounting piece on the other side. So let me go ahead and do that now on the back and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. There you have it. The back side of the rail kit is mounted to the upright post in the back. You can see that the front part with the stamped square shape is actually on one side of the rail and the back of the rail kit is on the other side of the upright. Uh, so that's how it's supposed to be and it's really in there. And uh, this is again for a square hole rack or a square post or a square hole post which is what I have. And I'm going to try to ever so gracefully, one hand, slide this on, all right, and there you have it, now you can go ahead and mount the front part, so much grace, now that we're back at the front of the case, you can go ahead and Mount the front to the 
provided bracket again. Squares. Fit in squares. Go ahead and slide this up. And go ahead and screw it in. There you have it. Slides out. This is also very well lubricated, which is both good and bad. It makes a mess, but it slides very nicely. Uh, next, I'm going to show you how to detach this inner rail kit for when you're sliding your case out. I already said that there's a pin here, but since it's mounted, I think I'm going to be able to pull it out. There you go. That's all there is to it. Slide this whole piece out. And this is going to be, again, mounted to your case so that you can slide your case in and out of the rack. I gracefully slide this back in. And there you go. Now the latch is holding it in place again. Cool. All right, so hopefully in the next video, I'm going to show you how to have the, well, I'm going to have the entire rack mount case itself installed in the enclosure, um, and we'll take it from there. Anyways, this has been a look at the Norco RL26 rail kit for server racks installation video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.